Well, thank you so much, guys. It is a very exciting time in the world of fashion. And, of course, I'm talking about South African fashion, to be exact, not least because of the beautiful lady and the very handsome and talented gentleman in studio today. Anise from Young and Lazy, Matt from Sol Sol, as well as Catherine from Pishalak are here this morning. They're three talented designers behind the exclusive Woolworths Style by SA Capsule Collection that launched with tremendous success at South African Fashion Week uh, recently. Now, they've been identified as the next great generation of emerging designers. So we are very excited to have this homegrown talent with us in studio today to take us through their own design journey and, of course, the Woolworth Style by SA collaboration. Good morning, everybody. How are you guys doing? Hey, living your best life over here. Congratulations on what you pulled off. It was absolutely amazing. But Matt and Nice, I'm going to start off with you guys. Uh, you are known countrywide for your amazing streetwear that you have been um, you know kind of putting out there what are some of the trends that you think is at the helm of this fashion genre at the moment I'll start off with you Elise. Well, I don't know like um, we don't really work with trends and I think uh, well in streetwear and at this point it's uh, it's the kids who basically depict the trends yeah. so it's yeah I guess. And you Matt? Yeah I, th I think Anise is right I think both of us have never really tried to follow like I guess like global trends or what everyone's like doing popularly Probably that's the way. Yeah. Um, I don't know, yeah, it's just like the kids that come to the store, seeing what they're wearing, like listening to those guys, chatting to them, and taking it from there. Absolutely amazing. Now, Catherine, your brand, Pishalik, is that right? Yeah. It has gotten international fame, shall we say. I mean, Emma Watson was seen wearing some of your things a while ago, as well as many others. What do you think is, um, what, what, what makes your jewellery kind of speak for itself and stand out like it does? I think we're distilling kind of ancient healing modalities of jewellery and ornamentation from the continent and reimagining it in a contemporary way. Yeah. So I think that really speaks to, to women. Now I want to ask each one of you, your collaboration with Woolworths literally stole the show at South African Fashion Week. What was it like to kind of have that spot to showcase what you're able to do? I mean, yeah, of course it was an amazing experience. Um, yeah. Also really grateful uh, for everything with Woolworths and uh, it's just a nice platform to showcase a new collection. Mm -hmm. I think it's amazing that our designs can be more accessible to a larger market. Yeah, absolutely. And the, the fashion show was amazing because there was such incredible reception and an amazing energy on the runway. So that was cool. Yeah, it was cool. It was different for me because I actually wasn't there on the night, um, unfortunately. But it was cool to see it from a distance. Um, and yeah, working with Woolworths has been an absolute pleasure. Um, yeah, it's cool to just have everything like world, world countrywide now. Yeah. Catherine, why do you think South African <coughs> fashion is so relevant right now? Well, I think that Africa is relevant right now, and I think it's it's kind of feeding into many kind of global trends, but also people are looking to Africa for, for growth, and I think our fashion is kind of a distillation or a metonym for that. Wonderful. Well, to all of the young people that are sitting at home right now who are seeing you, and you're such an inspiration and uh, you know, a shining light that anything is possible, and if you have a dream, you can definitely achieve it, what would you say to those young people right now with regards to getting into the fashion industry? Um, I would just say do your groundwork. It's, it's not all glamorous as you see and what we put it's out, true. but uh, yeah, it's just a lot of hard work. Absolutely. And with regards to, to jewellery? I think it's find your own language. Don't like just paste and copy a Pinterest style because I don't think that is kind of very innovative and it doesn't actually feed or give you meaning. Yeah. And then with street style, Matt? Um, I think just like, stick to what you know and what you're comfortable with and maybe a little bit towards your heritage yeah. and just work hard. It doesn't sound like an overnight thing. It's not as easy as Instagram. Yeah. Um, you need, it's, yeah, it's a bit of hard work. So just, yeah, but just go with it. Yeah. We can't all be famous on Instagram, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you actually have to uh, put in some hard work. Thank you so much, guys, for being here. And once again, congratulations much. on everything that you're Thank doing. You, you make much. us very, very proud. Thank you. Keep Thank that you so flag much. flying high. Now, some words of wisdom from some of South Africa's finest sitting right here, Catherine, Anise, and Matt. Thank you so much for coming here today. And then, of course, you can shop the exclusive Style by SA collection online at Woolworths.co.za and in select stores.